going on guys? Tmart here and I'm bringing another episode of Modern Warfare 3 Jumps and Spots and as you can see in this video we're going to be taking a look at the brand new map Black Box that just came out this morning and I've been playing it for the past couple hours and I got some strategies and spots and jumps and stuff that I wanted to share with you guys so uh, let's get into it. Now if you haven't seen Black Box yet uh, it's a pretty big map as you can see here. It's one of the bigger ones in Modern Warfare 3 and uh, there's four main parts to it. There's the big mansion up on the hill kind of like a state in Modern Warfare 2. Uh, there's the plane, there's the red house over on the other hill that's kind of straight across from it. There's some gunfire that goes in between those two. And then finally there's a construction building. And uh, for the most part this map plays pretty slow and it's really tailored towards assault rifles and snipers. And uh, a lot of times it'll just be people up in these buildings shooting down at people running through the middle of the map. And uh, that's just, uh, it's kind of how it goes. I mean a lot of people camp on this map which is kind of frustrating to play. But uh, you know I, overall this map is, you know, it's pretty good. I mean I'm not a huge supporter but I'm not a hater either. So uh, anyway starting off here one spot I like to use particularly off the spawn is this truck right here. So I know you guys know about these. They're all throughout Modern Warfare 3. You can use this as cover and see what the enemy team's going to do. You can see if they're going to go right, if they're going to camp in this red building, or if they're going to go left. And uh, you can take out a couple of people and then kind of move on and decide where you want to go, how you're going to flank the enemies or, you know, whatever you want to do. Now, uh, moving on to the next spot, this construction building is pretty important because uh, one main spawn is down at the bottom of this hill down there, and the other main spawn is at the top of the hill up behind the house. And uh, so a lot of times we'll be fighting over this construction building and when your team takes control of it You're gonna have to be in here fighting enemies who are up in this house who are sitting in the windows who may come around the back side May come around the side door, you know, whatever it may be and rather than running out here and not really having much cover Or going upstairs and not really having too much cover What I like to do is I'll sit right like this and you can see the back of the house You can see the windows you can see that main doorway where everybody goes and uh, it's just it's really good because as you're gonna see from the enemy's perspective although they can spray you through this pretty easily they can't really see you so they aren't gonna expect you to be there you just be a little tiny head peeking above that so uh, that can be pretty useful I highly recommend it now Moving on to CDOM here, there's a pretty obvious capture spot, just lay next to this car, you know, blow it up if you want to, and uh, you can watch this way, you can pop up and kind of use it as cover if you think the enemies are going to be coming from the left, and uh, that can be pretty useful. Now, uh, for the mansion here, there's not really too much, unfortunately, I wish there was a way you could jump up to this bridge or jump up to the second story of the mansion without go actually going up the stairs, but uh, unfortunately I haven't really found anything, so uh, we have to work with what we've got. There is a balcony around this backside over here, which for some reason a lot of people haven't really noticed. So uh, you can get up on this balcony if you want, but um, moving on over towards BDOM This is one of the best spots in the map and it's a line of sight So uh, why it's so good is because if the enemy team is spawning over at A What they do is rather than running across the middle because like I said There's gonna be people up with assault rifles and snipers up in these buildings, and it's really hard to get through here What they'll do is they'll come around the back side of the plane and they'll come up through here And because this doorway is blocked off all they can do is go through the right side doorway to get to the B domination flag or to flank around or whatever they're trying to do so what I'll do is I'll come in here you know I'll check middle see if anybody's coming and if I think someone's gonna be coming through the plane I'll come back here boom Look at this. You can see right through that doorway, and I'll cut to some real gameplay here. Uh, it's just, this spot is absolutely incredible. No one ever expects it, and it really, it gets you a lot of kills because nobody ever thinks you're going to be there. So, uh, I would definitely, definitely take use of this spot if you guys haven't. Uh, and then also, you can use it the other way. So, if you're capturing B, and say your enemy is kind of protecting you from the left, what you can do is, uh, if you stand on this thing, you can capture it, and you can kind of peek around, and you can see enemies as they come down that hill there, as they're trying to come into the plane. And uh, that can help you out as well. So, I mean, and this is just, it's, it's incredible, guys, and I highly, highly recommend it. Now, uh, moving on, there is the plane wing right here that takes you up to the third story of the Red House, which uh, can be pretty useful. You know, it's a lot quicker than running into the second story and going up the stairs and everything. And it can be kind of useful, but uh, at the same time, it's pretty risky because uh, you are out in the open, you have no cover, and like I said, all those enemies that are camping uh, might be able to get you. So use it sparingly. Uh, also, what I notice a lot of people doing is if they're in the middle or they just captured B-Dom and they want to get up in that house, what they'll do is they'll go like this, they'll take the long way, they'll go over the turbine, and uh, that's just, you know, it, it's not as good as what I like to do is if I'm in the middle, I'll come up like this. You can run up these stairs, do a nice little crouch jump, and you're up on the plane wing, and it really kind of shaves some time off your running. So, freeze!
Hold on a second guys, there is one thing I forgot to tell you in this part, so I wanted to make sure that I got this in, but uh, anyway, so uh, if you are in the second story of this house, what you can do is if you want to go upstairs, instead of going actually up the stairs, all you have to do is you can jump to this plane wing, and as you can see, you just hold A or hold X or whatever, and there's the press A to jump over, so instead of running down here and doing a crouch jump and everything, what you can do if you want to if you're near this corner is you can just jump like this and then hop up and boom, you're up here and you're going to take people by surprise who are camping these stairs. So, uh, anyway, let's get back to the video. Unfreeze! Uh, that can be pretty useful. Now, when you're up top in this building, there's a couple of things you can do. Number one of which is this is a pretty good counter spot to the uh, the balcony up there in the mansion. So you can take out snipers and assault rifles like this. But another thing is keep in mind that this isn't very good cover. So they can just spray you through that if they want to. And then also, I pulled this off in a game, it was pretty cool. I knew there was an enemy down here, like I ran up these stairs, he shot at me, and uh, he was waiting for me to come down, so what I did is I went around on this balcony, I dropped down here, and boom, I took him out. So this can be pretty useful if you're up top and you know somebody's under you, or I guess you could jump down this way too, it just depends on what the situation is, so uh, that, can be, uh, that can be pretty useful. And then finally, moving over here, uh, another really good thing is you can climb on this rock to get over this wall, so you don't have to go all the way around to the left or around to the right. Uh, Usually rocks like this in the game are, you know, really glitchy and you can't really get on top of them So that's why not a lot of people use this But uh, you can come up here if anybody's in construction You can take them out and use this as cover and then you can hop over and uh, that'll just uh, it'll save you a little bit of time But um really I think that's about all that's about all the uh, the spots I've got for you guys I'll show you a, a halfway decent capture spot on B uh, Which is uh, you know again, it's pretty obvious you just you kind of lay here and uh, gives you some cover, but you have to watch out for enemies who are going to be up top and bottom of the plane. And then for all the way over at A, let's make this long trek here. Like I said, this map is pretty big. Uh, when I'm capturing A, uh, there's not really too much. As you can see, there's not much cover, but what I'll do is I'll sit behind this truck and kind of get like this. And uh, it offers me a little bit better than if I was just laying in the middle of the street, but uh, really not much because you want to make sure you don't get killed by uh, the truck blowing up. And then finally, there is this little wall you can jump over back here. A lot of times when you're spawned here, you spawn here. So most people just run forward and they have to run around. But, uh, you know, what I'll do, what I figured out is you just turn around and there's a quick little escape right there. So uh, that's just in case you guys haven't noticed that. But um, anyway, guys, that's about all I've got. If I find any other good stuff, I'll make sure to let you guys know. I have a couple of really good gameplays that I'm probably going to upload either later today or tomorrow, so let me know when you guys would like to see those, and uh, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, so I got a bunch of great videos coming soon, I got a bunch of great tips to give you guys, and some other stuff planned, so be on the lookout for that, check out one of the other two videos on screen if you haven't seen them yet, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching, so I'll catch you all later, have a great day guys, peace. Mm -hmm.